Hello and uh, greetings to CM members and whoever is watching this video right now. I am Dr. Max Sheridan. I'll be presenting before you my original research on uh, patients leaving without being seen from emergency departments. Uh, this is a prediction model using machine learning on a nationwide uh, database. Uh, this database is the NEDS uh, database. Uh, more about it later. So background for this uh, project is uh, is that uh, leave, leaving without being seen has been considered a marker of healthcare quality. It's an indirect marker for two of the six uh, domains uh, of um, healthcare quality that's been uh, demarcated by Institute of Medicine, uh, which are uh, timeliness and uh, care. Um, all the studies till date have used uh, limited data. Uh, there's no dearth of studies um, uh, on LWBS, but uh, either it's been done at a particular hospital or one of the coastal bigger hospitals. Uh, none have uh, taken uh, kind of a nationwide database and analyzed it. Um, the closest, uh, some studies have gone to the NC. HMS uh, data set, but again, that's that's not the uh, best quality data because it's 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 reported by choice. It's not something that all uh, uh, that's mandatory on all hospitals. Um, to date, studies are not there that have uh, studied interactions between predictors. Um, by interactions, I mean um, studies have uh, delineated uh, age, insurance. Um, chronic conditions as uh, predictors, but hey, um, if somebody is above 65, he has a particular insurance, he's eligible for Medicare. Somebody who is older will have chronic conditions. So there are interactions uh, between these predictors that have not been accounted by accounted for by any of these studies. Studies have also not ranked predictors uh, by impact, as in uh, we want to know which uh, factor affects uh, the most so that we can we can identify these patients based on two three most important factors goals of the investigations uh, the primary goal was to find out intrinsic patient and hospital factors that increase the odds of leaving without being seen a secondary goal was to rank these predictors uh, by the strength strength of their influence um, the eventual actionable uh, um, uh, conclusion that uh, we used to uh, we uh, aim to get from this investigation was uh, maybe find two three factors by which um, hospitals can direct uh, uh, efforts at uh, um, reducing um, um, uh, LWBS um, in the patients visiting their ERs. Methods, uh, data source, as I told you, we use the uh, NADS uh, National Emergency Department sample data set uh, from AHRQ. Um, this data set uh, comprises of uh, um, administrative data that's been reported from all the hospitals um, in order to um, administrate data reported from um, hospitals all across the United States. Um, study design, this is a retrospective cross-sectional study. Um, basically, we um, used uh, survey weight uh, multivariate logistic regression uh, for the outcome variable of uh, left without being seen and uh, found which um, predictors are significant. Um, we derived uh, um, we basically um, um, derived uh, three models. First one was a main effects model. Uh, there we just did uh, logistic regression. Uh, um, uh, we just just multivariate logistic regression with stepwise um, uh, addition and uh, deletion of predictors till we got the best model to predict um, LWBS. Second model was a main effect with interactions. Um, this consisted of uh, both the predictors as well as uh, interactions between predictors in the uh, model um, so that we could tease out um, which uh, predictors interacted with each other um, and how. 
the third model was a machine learning model. Uh, we used the random forest uh, uh, algorithm to rank these uh, predictors uh, by the strength of influence. Now, interactions could not be ranked uh, by this method. Only um, individual predictors uh, could be ranked. More about that later. Um, results, here's the results uh, that we got from the main effects model. As you can see, uh, annual ED volume uh, was a, gave us a significant uh, uh, odds ratio. Um, um, EDs which have a volume greater than 60,000 uh, annual visits um, had more amount of uh, leaving without being seen than um, those uh, that were below uh, 20,000. Uh, patients with chronic conditions, they uh, left less than those without chronic conditions. Patients with higher median incomes, left less compared with those with uh, lower median incomes. Like we stratified uh, them according to people with less than 43,000 um, annual income and uh, between 43 to 54 and then between 54 to 71 and more than 71. As you can see, they're almost, uh, almost as if the lowest uh, um, um, of the income, which was a reference, um, had more living without being seen than uh, the higher incomes, uh, almost like sequentially. Weekend presentations had more, uh, um, had less uh, LWBS uh, than weekday, uh, which is um, pretty intuitive. People have more uh, time to wait on the weekends. Um, acuity scores, uh, people with higher acuity, um, uh, also people with acuity scores less than two versus uh, uh, versus no. Um, people with lower equity uh, actually left more. Um, the most important thing, um, people with private insurance versus people with Medicaid, uh, people with private insurance left less. People with uh, Medicare insurance also left lesser than uh, Medicaid. Uh, age was a factor. Um, the middle ages left more, while uh, the pediatric ages, 0 to 17, and uh, the Medicare age uh, had less um, LWBS than our um, reference group of uh, um, uh, people between 18 to 35. Gender males uh, had more LWBS than females. When we uh, accounted for interactions between factors, that uh, took out a lot of uh, predictors uh, because this this uh, odds ratio um, uh, plot does not uh, um, does not consider uh, odds ratios for interactions. So after sieving out the interactions between factors, these were the predictors that we were left with: annual ED volume greater than 60k, more than 60k annual volume, people left more. Uh, higher uh, median incomes, the higher the median incomes got, the lesser the, the, the leaving. Um, weekends was significant, uh, uh, people left uh, more, uh, people left less on weekends. Gender was significant, males left more than females. Finally, results from random forest. Um, um, we used the random forest algorithm to rank the most uh, uh, influential factors. As you can see, Primary insurance, I mean, primary insurance is the most important factor. Those with uh, no insurance or with Medicaid left more than those with private insurances or Medicare. Male gender, chronic conditions at presentations. This was an important um, influential factors. Annual ED volume. Um, this was also very important. Below this, as you can see, the OOB margin, out of the bag margin becomes negative. So these other factors are not that significant in predicting, uh, uh, predicting who will leave. Uh, so our uniform conclusion is that the neediest and poorest people live without being seen from the busiest and biggest uh, emergency departments. So we call for further research uh, to rule out the possibility of a, a, a systemic bias. Um, if that's happening, that's why um, to see if that's why people are leaving. Um, so that was the research. Thanks for the attention.